in. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you will know that I love making gum paste flowers. And as spring is finally here in the UK, I thought I would celebrate this and show you how to make these really pretty gum paste tulips. Okay, let's get started. So here I've got the things that I'm gonna need in order to make my tulips. Now, the first thing that I've got is my gum paste or my floral paste. Now, tulips come in so many different colors, but I'm gonna be using a light pink today. I've got some green and also a small amount of white. I've got my tulip petal cutter. Now, this one just measures three and a half centimeters by six centimeters. I've also got a tulip petal veiner and a tulip leaf veiner. I've also got some plastic spoons. Now I've got six of these and you just want quite a small spoon that has quite a deep curve to it. I've got my floral tape, a rolling pin, a little pot of caster sugar, my foam mat and my bottle, some different pieces of wire. Now I've got some 24 gauge wire and a piece of 18 gauge wire. I've also got my PME veining board, some small flower stamen, my edible glue, just some modeling tools. So I've got my metal tools and just some tweezers. And lastly, I've just got some edible tints in a range of different colors. And I will also put a list of all the tools that I've used in today's video in the description below. Now in this video I'm going to be working on a closed tulip and also an open tulip where you can see the inside. Starting with the closed tulip, start with my pink gum paste, my petal cutter and I've just got a piece of 18 gauge wire here. Now this one is going to be quite top heavy so I've just gone for quite a sturdy piece of wire and I'm going to create a loop in the end. Now I'm going to take quite a large ball of my gum paste and we want to create the bud that's going to sit in the center that we can attach the petals to. So I've got a ball of gum paste which is around an inch in diameter and you want to taper this down into a point so just rolling that between my hands. Now you want it to come up around a third of the way up your petal cutter. You then want to take a craft knife and just using the back, which is slightly wider, I'm gonna draw up three lines and then where they meet at the top, I'm just gonna twist those slightly. Now, taking your wire, you can either dip this into some edible glue and push this into the bottom of your flower bud. But if you're a bit like me and you want to carry on working, I'm gonna be using a kitchen blowtorch. Really carefully heat up the end of the wire until it starts to go orange. You can then push this into the end of the flower bud and this just melts the gum paste onto that wire and makes it secure so you can start working straight away. Okay. Okay, so to create the petals for the closed tulip, I'm gonna be using my veining mat to roll them out onto. Now, the reason that I'm using this, even though I won't be adding individual wires into my petals, which is what you usually use it for, I wanna create the seam up the back of the petals and this works perfectly. And then take my petal cutter and the bottom is the curved half. The top has this little section cut out. Now I'm gonna take my foam mat and place my petal on the top. I can then use my bottle just to run around the edge, just thinning out that gum paste but stopping before it gets frilly and just run it from the top to the bottom. Now I've come in around four millimeters from the side. This is just gonna help curve it round and create the shape of our tulip. Now I'm gonna pop this into my veiner just to make it look slightly more realistic. Now for the first three of my petals, take the opposite end of my bottle and just curve those in at the side, just closing them up. And I'm gonna drape this onto one of my spoons so that we create this curve on the bottom, which is gonna sit around the base of our flower bud. Place this onto my spoon just for a few minutes, just for it to firm up slightly, but so that we can still mold it. Now for the closed flower, I am gonna need six petals, three which are curved round in this way and three which are slightly more open. So I'm gonna make the rest of those. After a few minutes, once they're holding their shape but they're not completely dry, I'm gonna take some edible glue and just pop that in the bottom. Bring back in my flower bud and take the first one and just push that onto the base, just pulling that tip 
up to the top. Now I'm going to peel back the side of my petal slightly and just pop the second one into there, just closing that up, pulling them together so they come into a point and again add in third one and just try and interlace them at the top. Now we can still see the flower bud that we created in the middle so we don't want to hide it we just want to make it look like the first layer of petals is just starting to open. Now I'm going to bend my wire and you just want to bring something in to hang it onto just so it dries upside down so that none of those petals start to open out. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll out three more pieces of gum paste and create three more petals in exactly the same way. Now if you're finding that your gum paste is sticking to your surface you can always just dust it with a small amount of corn flour just to stop it sticking. Now for the last three I want to pull the edges round slightly not as much as I did on the first one. So I'm going to flip that over onto my spoon after a few minutes I'm going to take the petals off of the spoons and again just pop some edible glue into that bottom section. Bring back in my flower bud and where we've got these gaps from the joins I'm just going to place the first one over the top. Now we just want to push it onto the flower bud so it cups that bottom and then just comes in to a point to meet the rest. Pull back one of the sides and just tuck another petal in. Bring those three round so that they meet. Now at the top, we just wanna pull the tops of those petals in. Now I'm gonna hang this again upside down until this has completely dried. So once the gum paste on our tulip has dried, I'm just gonna straighten out my length of wire. I then wanna add a small amount of color. So I've just got a plate here with some blush pink and some rose edible tint. And on a large fluffy brush, add that, just coming up slightly and just some on the inside. And I'm gonna pop a small amount of darker pink just on the base. I've then got my floral tape. Now this one is just water activated. So you wanna pop a small amount of water on the end of your fingers, just dampen that down. And as you stretch it out, it will just activate the gum and allow it to stick to itself. Hold this right to the top of our wire and just start winding that down. Now the stem on a tulip is quite thick. So I'm gonna repeat this another three times. So there we have our first tulip. So this is just a slightly closed up tulip. I'm now gonna work on an open tulip where we can see the center. Now I'm gonna take a really small ball of the green gum paste. Now this one is just under a centimeter in diameter. Use our fingers just to create a triangle shape, pushing it on three sides. I'm gonna flatten down top and the bottom, just giving us those nice, sharp points on three sides. So just pinching that between my fingers. Now using my Dresden tool, I'm gonna to come down around two millimeters and just push it in all the way around just to create this small little ball on the top. Now taking my craft knife where we've got the flat sides, I'm just gonna cut in and create three sections. Take some tweezers, pull each one of those. I can then use my fingers just to flatten those down and create three small points. Now I take the back of my craft knife and just put a small line up the center each part just to give it some texture. To attach this to my wire I'm going to take another piece of 18 gauge wire and just create a really tiny loop on the end. Again you can either add this into some edible glue and just allow it to dry or I've just got my kitchen blowtorch which I'm just going to heat up the end of my wire. Push that carefully into the bottom. Now I've just got a small amount of foliage green and a chocolate brown edible tint and just dust this on the center of my flower. Just adding that green along the top and the bottom with some of that brown in the middle. Now I'm gonna create my stamen which are gonna come up and just sit around the edge. 
Now you can buy stamen that are especially for tulips and they're usually for tulips or lilies. I'm gonna take some normal ones and I'm just gonna alter these slightly so that they give us the effect that we need. The first thing I'm gonna do is just chop these down. So I just have the stamen on one end. I'm then gonna take some gum paste and I've got some white here and I'm gonna take off a really tiny ball. I can then take the stamen that I have and just dip the end of that into some edible glue. With the gum paste, I'll it off slightly. Push my stamen into the middle, pushing that down. You wanna bring the gum paste around so that it covers the existing ball completely and shape this. So that it's around half a centimeter in length and we've just got this point on the end. Now you want to make six of these. Now my stamen are dry, I want to color them. Now depending on the color that you're gonna use for the leaves, usually if they're a lighter flower, they would have yellow centers, or if you've got darker shades like the reds, the dark purples, then they can have black stamen. So taking some yellow edible tin, some egg yellow, some primrose, and some lemon yellow. I'm gonna mix these all together, just color in the stamen that we created and also down the stem around a centimeter and a half. The ends of these would usually have some pollen on them. So in order to recreate that, I've got a small dish of caster sugar and I'm just adding a small amount of the edible tin. Shake that up so that it colors the sugar and go ahead and add a small amount of edible glue onto the end of those stamen. Dip that into my sugar. It's the appearance that the stamen is covered in some yellow pollen. Pick up all six stamen. Now you want them all the same height and you want to place them so that they're just poking out from the top. I've then got the green floral tape again and just holding that still, wrap that all the way around. Now, as I've turned, mine have just come to one side. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and just pull them around. Now, I'm also just gonna angle those out just so they come away from the middle. So there we have the start of our flower. Now, the next thing to do is create all the petals that are gonna go around the edge. Now, just as we did with the closed tulip, I'm gonna use my veining board to create a raised area on the back. Now, this is not only gonna give us the texture of a seam down the back, but it's also gonna allow us to poke our wires in. Now, for the petals, I'm using a 24 gauge wire, and this one just comes covered in some white floral tape. So I'm gonna roll out my petal and cut that out pop the end of your wire in some edible glue and just push it in that raised area at the back so that you can't see it and just pinch at the bottom to secure that onto the wire. Now taking my foam mat and my bottle, I'm gonna thin out those edges. And again, as I did previously, just run my bottle in a curve, just coming in around four millimeters from the edge. I then got my two veiners, just to give me slight texture, push those together. Now, taking one of my plastic spoons, I'm gonna take my petal and just push this all the way over the top. Now I want it to form the whole shape. So we've got this curved area at the bottom and then all the sides just curving round near the bottom edge. So for my open flower, I'm gonna create six petals. Now you want to leave all of your petals until they've completely dried and that edible glue has completely fixed that wire into the end. Now, if you don't have a veining board, you can just do this by hand. So I'm gonna take a really small rolling pin and just start to roll up my gum paste until it's around three millimeters in thickness. Taper down one side. You then want to leave a ridge running along the center. So I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side, just pulling that away so that we get a raised triangle in the center. I can then work just pulling that away at the top, you see? and cut out our petal. So as you can see, we've got this raised area at the bottom. Now I'm gonna use my Dresden tool and I'm just gonna pull down to create two marks, just giving us that seam down the back of the tulip. I can then add in my wire, in out those edges, pop that into my veining tool and use my spoon to create the shape. 
Now, once all six petals are dry, then I'm gonna add some color. So using the blush pink and the rose edible tint, I'm gonna take that and just pop it on the bottom of those petals. So I'm doing this to the outside and also the inside of the petals as we will be seeing both. Now taking my petals and just holding the base, I just wanna turn the wire down Taking three of my petals, I want to place these directly under where that flower centre starts. Open them next to each other and I'm going to use my floral tape. So just making sure that it's tucked right up close to the start of those petals. And wind it all the way down. Now I'm going to position these just so they cut around that centre. Take my next three and where we've got the joins from the previous layer, add those and in exactly the same way, wind that floral tape around, coming all the way to the bottom. Now I'm gonna go over the top one more time just to thicken off that stem and just reposition the petals until I'm completely happy. So there we have our open tulip. So to create the leaves that are going to go with my tulips, I've got some green gum paste. Now I've just used the Leaf Gel Colour by Colour Splash. I've then got two leaf veiners and just a piece of my 24 gauge wire. Now I'm going to roll out my green gum paste again just on my veining mat just to give me that raised area that I can add my wire into. Now I haven't got a cutter for my leaves so I'm just going to trim end off. Take my edible glue and just pop the end of my wire into that. Thread that through so that we don't see any of the wire and I've just come up around an inch. Take my veiners, pop that on the top with the wire just running through the center. I take the top half and place that directly on the top and just push down. Now I'm gonna take my craft knife and just run it along the edge cutting out the shape that's been created with the veiners. Now at the end, I'm just gonna pinch that gum paste together just to secure it onto my wire. Take your foam mat with your ball tool and just lightly run it along that edge just to thin that out so that we don't have a blunt edge. Lightly fold that in half okay, so it bends back on itself. I can then take just a spoon and I'm going to drape that over the top just so that when we attach this next to our tulips it will just bend out slightly. Now I'm going to make a few of these and I'm going to pop this to one side just until that gum paste has completely set. Now if you're not completely happy with the colour you can dust them with some different coloured greens. I'm going to keep mine this nice leaf colour. So just with some more of that floral tape start with my closed tulip. Bend that wire back slightly so all the leaves will just come away from the flowers. I can then use some more of my floral tape just to stick the two together. So I'm gonna to start to wind that round. Now, once I've come down around an inch, I'm gonna add in another one of the leaves and just continue to wind that down. So there we've got our first tulip. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with my open tulip. So just place that against the edge. Just wind that tape around. So here we have our two tulips all ready to add onto your cake. Now, if you wanted them slightly smaller and you're gonna push them into maybe a tiered cake, you can just trim off any excess wire that you don't need. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will enjoy making some tulips to add onto your own cakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like, just so I know. And if you'd like to see more gum paste flower tutorials, then make sure you head over to the video section on the Cakes Badlands YouTube channel where you'll find more. While you're there, you can also subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button as this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. So until next time, bye!